In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Li3P. This is lithium phosphide. The first thing we need to recognize is we have a metal and a nonmetal. This is going to be an ionic compound. So we have these metals and this nonmetal here. Ionic compound. Each lithium is going to transfer its valence electrons to the phosphorus, metal to the nonmetal. Let's start by drawing three lithium atoms. Next, we'll put our phosphorus atom right over here. And on the periodic table, lithium, that's in group one. So it'll have one valence electron. So each lithium has one valence electron. And then that phosphorus, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It'll have five valence electrons. And remember we said that our metal here is going to transfer its electrons, its valence electrons, or valence electron for lithium, to the phosphorus. So we move this here, and then each lithium, it'll transfer its valence electron until phosphorus has an octet. So it has a full outer shell, which is very stable. So you can see why we need three lithiums to give this phosphorus here an octet. Since phosphorus gained three electrons, electrons are negative, it has a three minus ionic charge. Each lithium lost one electron, so it's going to become a one plus. We don't write the one though. And because the electrons were transferred, they're not shared like in a covalent bond, we should put brackets around the phosphorus atom. Often you'll see brackets around each lithium as well. So we have a negative here, a negative ion, and then these positive ions. Opposite charges attract, and that's what's going to form the chemical bond, the ionic bond between the lithiums and the phosphorus. So we have a Lewis structure now for lithium phosphide, Li3P. Do note that this is what we call a formula unit. If you had solid Li3P, that would be a crystal, and it would be made up of these formula units in a repeating pattern. But this is useful to show us how the electrons are transferred from the lithium to the phosphorus in the Li3P Lewis structure. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.